Hello, Verbling. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all. I'm just getting my teaching materials up on the dashboard here. If you'd hold on for one second. Today we are building a story. All right, so my name is Norell, and I am a new teacher here on Verbling.com, and it's uh, truly a pleasure to meet you today. Today we will be building a story about a character named Jack, and the exercise is for beginner and intermediate students of the English language. We will be using our imaginations, being creative, and building a story together about a character who is always putting himself in danger. He's always getting stuck in these unfortunate situations and always requiring rescue. So this is a game that can be played with multiple students. Um, hopefully you will all join me as class goes on. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I am originally from New York City. I live in a suburb outside of New York City and I've spent most of my adult life out in Boulder, Colorado, which is a small city, a small mountainous city out in the west part of the United States. It's very well known for its skiing and snowboarding. I'm actually on my way to teach English in South Korea and I'm very much enjoying my time online because it allows me to teach anywhere in the world. So that's a little bit about me. I welcome anybody who wants to join me tonight here on Verbling.com. I'm also available to have private tutoring sessions with you one-on-one. -on -one. Private tutoring sessions are good for an individual who really wants to increase their fluency and their, con and their confidence in all aspects of the English language, whether it be speaking, writing, conversational English, academic English, or professional English. I know that many individuals are required or, um, or that it is beneficial for, for people to learn English, to get along better at their job, get promoted. It's very uh, desirable trait for, for uh, the professional career. So those are a couple good reasons to sign up for a private tutoring session with me or any other one of the wonderful teachers here on Verbling.com. You can find out more information by clicking on my profile. I am Teacher Norell here on Verbling.com. That's N-O-R-E-L-L. -L. I'm going to put that into the chat box here. Delta, good to see you today. How are you again? Long time no see. I'm so glad that you're here. Where have you ever, um, Delta, have you ever played a story game called Peril and Rescue? 
Mm, no. All right, cool. Let's see. I, I haven't written out the goals of the class, but I'm going to actually write out some goals for the class today here in the chat box. And then we can go over them. Hold on one second. I can't write and talk at the same time. Hold on one second. Build a story collectively. Teacher, I go to be here for for a minute because I have to leave. Oh, okay. Okay, no worries. No worries. You stay as long as you can. It's fine. Okay. Hello, we've got Hello. Uh -oh. background. Carlos. Hey Carlos, how are you? I'm fine. Can you hear me? I can hear you kind of, but there's some um, background noise. It sounds, it sounds like a window or a wind blowing or something. <laughs> okay. Can you um can you do anything about that background noise? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, um, if you put on headphones, that'll help. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? No. Okay, yeah. Okay. You can hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that background noise is not too bad right now, but if it gets worse, uh, we can't let it get too much worse than that. Thank you for, um, for taking care of that. Wen Ting, how are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Um, I'm still here. Can you guys, you guys, do you all hear that kind of blowing noise? Just want to make sure that we can all hear each other. Yes, how many people are here? Um, so we've got Carlos, we've got Delta, and we've got Wen Ting today. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Wen Ting, I remember you. You're from China, is that right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, very good memory. Yes, yes, yes. How are you today? Pretty good. Good, good. All right, so today we are um, building a story together. We are doing an exercise. We are doing a story building exercise around peril and rescue. Can anybody tell me what the word peril means? Wen Ting, do you know what peril is? Sorry, I don't know. Um, I know it's risk, right? So yes, yeah, exactly. Great. So peril is risk. Peril can also mean danger. And Carlos, what does rescue mean? What do you mean what? Rescue. What does rescue mean? Rescue. Uh, something that you ask for? Rescue? Mm. Or oh, how do you write? Rescue? Here, I'll put it in the chat box. That's rescue. Ah, okay. Sorry. It's like mm, when something or someone is in danger. In yes, yes. When somebody is in danger, they are in need of <clears throat> yeah. of rescue or rescue or help. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So Delta, can you uh, give us an example of when you rescued someone? Is someone are in the? Mm, Uh, let's see. So, is, is you are? Oh God! Oh my God! How can I? So you are you are in the street, right? Mm -hmm. And someone stolen your cell phone. So, and the criminal is gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm I'm <coughs> I'm a police officer and try mm -hmm. to get his person and self and another person try to get out so this is a uh, re recuper yes yes rescue exactly so a police rescue a police officer uh, often rescues people they get people out of trouble that's true 
Great, yes. Wen Ting, have you ever rescued anybody? Rescue? No. <laughs> no? Not have you ever rescued yourself? Did were you ever in danger and got yourself out of danger? Uh I don't know. If I just mm, fell in, into the ground is that rescue myself from bell or from fall. Mm. So you rescued yourself from falling. Yes. Just rescue from falling, right, right. Keep yourself I just from falling tripping. is not a real, uh, not really a danger. So can I just risk? Just yeah, leave? yeah. Leave well, me. some falls are can be dangerous, and some not so much, right? <laughs> yeah. Listen, if you if you have to run for something happen, so you 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 wrestle yourself. Yes, you rescue yourself if you run away from something before it gets you. Yeah, great. Example Delta. Carlos, have you ever rescued anybody? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> myself. Just yourself? Yeah. I see. Yes, I, see. I, I have avoided um, to spend too much money or something like that. Mm, oh, you rescued your finances? Yes. Oh, very nice. Good example. Yes, um, sometimes things can be rescued too. Have you ever, have you ever been at, have you ever been in peril, Carlos, in danger? Mm, not exactly, no. Not really? Okay. Mm. Delta, have you ever been in peril? Uh, is this, what, ah, danger? Mm-hmm, danger, yes. Mm. No, no, I haven't. All right. Not yet. I Not hope uh, <laughs> I hope I, I, I will not have any problems. Yes. But you don't know. Yes, yes, I know. We all hope never to have anything terrible happen that we can't escape from. Wen Ting, have you ever been in danger? Ever been an example of peril? No. Good, good. It sounds I'm like something. everyone is uh has been pretty has a pretty had pretty good luck in life then, huh? All right, so, so we have a character named Jack. Jack, Jack is always so. No, no I'm gonna start again. So, student one will put Jack in danger. Tell a story to put Jack in danger. Student two will put. Student two will rescue Jack. So we are telling a story. So I will do an I will show you an example, and then we will play this game where we will put Jack in danger and then rescue him. So, for example, okay. So Jack is walking. Jack is walking near his house, and he. Falls into a hole. So, can we all agree? Is Jack in danger? He's fallen into a hole. Yeah, a okay. little bit. Jack is kind of in danger. Yes. And so, if I was student two, I could say, "Well, Bonnie came along and rescued Jack." No, she. Uh, Put a rope down and said, "Jack, grab onto the rope and I will pull you up." So Bonnie is trying to rescue Jack, and then Bonnie says, "All right, Jack, grab on and I'll pull you up." Carlos, what happens next? Uh, what happened before? <laughs> I, I okay, what? so Bonnie is trying to pull Jack out of the hole with a rope. Yeah. So yeah. you, so Bonnie is about to rescue Jack. So yeah. you can put Jack back in danger. Mm, maybe in the hole, it's, uh, maybe it's, how do you say, uh, it's raining or something like that. 
and it's a little difficult to climb the with the rope. Mm. Repeat one more time. Yes, maybe it's raining. It's yeah. raining. Yes, and uh. it makes it difficult to use the rope. Yes. Uh huh. So does Bonnie slip into the hole too? Yes. <laughs> ah, yeah. Whoa. Okay. So they're back in danger again. Bonnie tries to rescue Jack, and they and her rescue attempt fails, and they're both in the hole. Is that right? Is that what you mean? Okay. Delta. Can you think of a way to rescue Bonnie and Jack? So I'm gonna help Jack. So I have, I have to 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 help a Jack, right? Yes. You have to add to the story, make up a make up a story of I, how Jack I gets can, help. I can make whatever that I want. Anything right? you want. Anything. It could be okay. wild. It could be not true. Spiderman coming. Uh -huh. Spiderman coming and help him. Say that one more time. Spiderman coming and help him. Oh, Spider Man! Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man! You say I can, I can use whatever I want, so yeah, Spider Man yeah. coming and help him. So, how does Spider Man help Jack? Okay, he use her. Uh, his power, so. I don't know how can I call the the things that the the hit draw with her hand. How you how can I call him uh, that? Um, his spider web. Yeah, his a spider web. web. He, yes. And, and get his his hand and try to get out of the hole. And does it work? Does it work? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't work. It does not work. No, it's not. It's not work. Why? Cause it was raining and uh, let's see. And the power that he has doesn't work with the water. Oh, so <laughs> Spider-Man is helpless when it's raining. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. oh, that's a great twist. Okay, so rescue does not work. Okay. Well, Wen Ting, what happens next? Um, they decide to rescue themselves. Uh, by themselves. Uh, no. Oh, sorry. One is Jack and another guy names what? Oh, Bonnie. Jack and Bonnie. Bonnie. Uh, uh, Jack stand uh, there and the Bonnie climbed uh, up to Jack's shadow and uh, he tried to catch the edge of the road. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Actually, at first he succeeded. Oh. He, um, he jumped. You know, Bonnie is very good at jumping. Uh -huh. so he jumped so high that he touched the edge of the road. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I see. And, so, uh, and Johnny is very strong. So he should be able to uh, lift him by uh, lift himself to the road. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, uh -huh. uh, a car rushed up, uh, passed by, uh -huh. and uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, so Barney is afraid of that the car may uh, crush he, uh, his finger. Oh, so he just no. uh, fell uh, oh. into the hole again, and uh, they just and uh, most unfortunately that the. Bernie broken his uh, his uh, his uh, his leg. Uh oh, Bonnie broke his leg. Yeah. Bonnie broke that's his leg, and they're still in the hole. Yeah. That's oh my point. God! This sound. This is awful for them. 
That's a great addition. Thank you, Wenting. Carlos. Yes. What happens next? Well, Bonnie calls maybe make a call, a phone call, mm -hmm. a cellular phone to to the police. <laughs> so she had a phone with her. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. She. Bonnie is a girl or is a boy? Say that again. Bonnie is a girl or? Yes. Bonnie is actually a girl. Yes. Girl. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She calls to. Well, first she calls to her mother. Uh huh. Was for for help <laughs> because she broke her neck. So her mother, um, her mother, I don't know, faint or how do you say when she fall asleep or something like that? Because oh, her mother faints. Uh, her mother faints. Uh oh. Uh oh. So yeah. the mother, the mother faints. Yeah, passes yeah. out. And the, and the call ends <laughs> because of the falling of her mother. Yes. Yeah. Uh -oh. so, she decided me to call to to her father, but he's working. Uh, and he doesn't respond to the call. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so Bonnie calls her mom on her phone, and her mother is unable to come help them because she faints. Yes. Oh, this is turning into. This is turning into some very, very unfortunate events. Delta, what happens next? Are they going to get rescued? Uh, then uh, the police office tried to help him, uh -huh. and the police office was in the traffic. They couldn't. That was a traffic jam. They they couldn't get him. So they fired a fire. Fighting force? Fighting faster? Oh, say that again. What? Repeat. Fighter faster? Oh, uh, the fighter firefighters. Ah, uh, fighter fighters. Uh, they are coming, and he's called, call him. Uh, he's called them. Help me! Help me! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and and the neighbors try to help him. Too, but they didn't. They, they couldn't too. So the situation was too bad. Um, at the end of the day, anybody could, couldn't help him. So he almost died. I don't know how can I help him right now. Mm. Oh, they sound very unfortunate. Okay. So I am going to add to the story. I'm going to interject my contribution. Okay, so they're practically half dead in the hole. But suddenly um, a couple of rodents, a couple chipmunks enter the hole and they happen to have a life raft with them. And so the chipmunks are dragging a, an inflatable boat with them. But then the chipmunks get called back home to dinner and they go back out of the hole and they forget their life raft. Then all of a sudden it starts to rain and the hole fills up so high with water that Bonnie and Jack are able to float to the top of the hole in the life raft that the chipmunks had left for them. And so they end up getting out of the hole, luckily. They're out of the hole now, and they're like, well, that was terrible, that was an adventure, but I'm very glad that we are safe. And so they decide to go home and have dinner, and they are a couple, and so they want to have a romantic dinner, and so they light candles before having dinner at home. And then all of a sudden, something falls out of the ceiling and knocks over one of the candles and the tablecloth catches on fire. Wen Ting, what happens next? Their tablecloth is on fire. Uh, okay. Um, they just caught the fire uh, 
just, just the firefighters. Yes. Okay. So the firefighters have come twice in one day. The firefighters must be like over it. <laughs> um. However, oh, they they found that they failed to call the fire uh, firefighters because oh. there are some something wrong with the uh the wire of the phone. Uh oh. And that their cell phone is is wet. Uh oh. Um, was wet uh, uh -huh. in that hole. Uh huh. So they cannot to call to the fire uh to call firefighters. Oh no! Oh no! What happens next then? What do they do, Wenting? Uh. So. Uh, Jack decided to uh ask for help to the uh ask. Uh, for uh ask the neighbors for help. Uh -huh. And uh, Bonnie um, uh, would like to uh, to get some water and uh, try to uh, uh, stop the fire by herself. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That sounds great. Hold on one second. I'm gonna try to. Hold on one second. I'm just writing to Delta here. All right. So the firefighters did not come. So what happens, Carlos? Their tablecloth is on fire, and the firefighters can't come because the phone is wet. Mm -hmm. The firefighters couldn't go because what? The firefighters could not come because mm -hmm. Wenting says that they can't call the firefighters because their phone got wet in the hole. So there's no way to call the fire department and the tablecloth is on fire. And their house is going to burn down unless something happens. What happens? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Maybe they look for another uh, solution. Uh -huh. um, here in Mexico, people used to, well, in the past, it, there was a raining god. Uh -huh. so, oh, the rain god! Yes. Yeah. <gasps> so, you suppose people used to, to dance uh -huh. to the, the raining god? But to stop or to start raining. <laughs> oh, uh huh, uh huh. So they decided to to dance. Ah, ah. So they're going to dance for the rain gods. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great solution. Awesome. Okay, so they're dancing. They're dancing, hoping for the rain gods to come. Yes. Yeah. Great addition. Wen Ting, do the rain gods hear their call? Yes, of course. Uh huh. The rain god can and want to rain. Uh huh. But the problem is that, uh, the rain god ha um has rained today. You s you know it has filled the hole. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. And so, so, so the rain gods were the rain gods able to put out the fire. Uh, the rain gods uh, only gives uh, several drops of rain. And <gasps> <laughs> they don't sound like very good uh, gods. And the rain god said that I'm, I, I'm so sorry that <gasps> I can't. Maybe you can uh, to ask for help to the, uh, the snow gods, maybe. <gasps> the snow gods. <laughs> the snow gods. <laughs> okay, so the rain gods tell Jack and Bonnie to call the snow gods. Carlos, yeah. do Jack and Bonnie get in contact with the snow gods? Okay, the snow god? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 
where maybe the um, environment problem, I don't know, uh, they are good, maybe top knowing, uh -huh. top range. So uh, they can go back to the rough solution uh -huh. <laughs> and maybe the sun arrive <laughs> uh -huh. and they are more it's more it's a little easy to it's easier to to help the to help uh, what's the name of the person in the hall? Oh Jack and Bonnie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, uh, so did the snow gods help them? Yes. They uh, can. Somebody has to, to rescue, rescue them. Yes, somebody has to rescue them. Or they can rescue themselves. Yes. So, uh. Okay, so I'm going to add to the story. So, Jack and Bonnie call the snow gods, and the snow gods rained a little bit of snow on the fire but it was not enough snow because the fire was so big at this point that the snow just turned to water so there's not enough snow to put out the fire because all of this time calling to the gods for dance all this dancing has taken so much time that the fire is now huge and it's not only on their tablecloth but it is burning their house down mm -hmm. so the snow gods and the rain gods and Jack and Bonnie are there and they don't know what to do because their house is burning down Wen Ting what do we do what happens just um I feel for men I mean someone has that magics Kim. Uh, he said uh, uh, you are you you are uh, you are so pit uh, uh, just I, I want to help you mm. so he turned the time ahead mm -hmm. the time uh, returned to the uh, maybe an hour an hour before uh, oh. at that time the fire was just big oh uh, there is no fire at that time. Ah! They haven't light. Uh, they haven't uh, lit the candle. Oh, okay. Wow. So they turned back time. They yeah. turned back time to when the fire wasn't that big. Whoa! That is a great addition to the story. What else happens? Uh, so Bonnie and the Jack are very very happy. Uh -huh. But they are afraid that mm, afraid uh, of firing. So uh -huh. they decided to uh to go to a bar uh -huh. to to be uh, to have fun. Ah, so they're celebrating at the bar. <laughs> yes, okay. on the way. They are a simsy sound bar. They follow the the sound 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 unknown uh, a a stranger is following them. Uh oh, an unknown stranger is following them to the bar. Yeah. Okay. Great, great. So, Carlos. Yeah. What happens? An unknown stranger is following Jack and Bonnie to the bar. What happens? Well, um, while they're walking, the uh -huh. stranger, uh, how is it? maybe walk fastly and quickly. They, yes, quickly. Uh -huh. Um, he has um. A gun. Uh -huh. A gun. And he. How do you say when? A gun. Yeah. Uh oh. A gun. Okay, so the unknown stranger has a gun. And he tried to.
to rob everything of them. Uh oh. <gasps> do they do do they succeed? Yes. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! So an unknown stranger holds up the gun, says, "Give me your stuff," and succeeds at robbing Jack and Bonnie. Yes. Okay, Wenting. Jack and Bonnie have no money to go celebrate now, and they're probably pretty scared. What happens? Uh, they are so sad, so they just walk back to home. Oh. Walk back home. Um, just on the way, a man appeared. Uh, on his hand is the guy who just robbed them. Oh. Mm. That uh, that that man said, I just called this bar uh, this guy, uh -huh. and he said that he just robbed them, and uh, th these are your money. Uh, are these are your uh, are this your money? Oh. Jack and Bonnie said yes. So they got they got the back money. Huh? And uh, they found. Uh, they are. Uh, they were robbed of maybe, uh, one hundred dollar, but they got. Uh, one thousand dollar. Whoa! They are so oh happy. So this person was. And really, they, actually, they person. didn't tell that man that. Uh, they just lost the one hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Oh, they didn't even tell the guy that they just lost a hundred dollars. Wow. Wow, okay. So what do they do with the one thousand dollars that this guy gives them? Um they decided to have to travel to California. Oh to enjoy the beach. Enjoy the beach? I see. Great. Great, okay. Okay, so it sounds like, Carlos, it sounds like Jack and Bonnie are in California and they want to enjoy the beach. What happens in California? Okay, they arrived at California mm -hmm. and they check in a hotel. Mm -hmm. Luxurious, oh, how do you say, how do you, luxurious or something like that? Oh, a luxurious hotel. A luxurious, luxur, luxurious. Yeah, luxurious hotel. And they they check in, check in. Um, they are for for um two bedroom. I don't know. I don't know how to say. It's two bedrooms. Uh, they checked separate, in. Separate bedrooms. Uh huh. Separate. The uh, the master suite. Do you mean the very fancy, expensive room? Yes. Yes. Into the master. I'm gonna write that down. The master suite. That means the honeymoon room. The very fancy bedroom. Yes. Uh huh. They're in the master suite. What happens next? They want to. To know that the to know to know California to uh -huh. to eat something and to to visit um, shopping shopping yes they go shopping yes boy they don't know the the city oh what re, one more time repeat uh, they don't know the they city don't know. <laughs> what, what don't they know they don't know California well. Oh, they don't know California well. Yes. Uh huh. So they have that problem now. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Wen Ting. Uh -huh. What What happens? They're in California, but they don't know California well, so they might have problems. Okay. They're lost. They're lost. They don't know the way uh -huh. uh, back to the hotel. Uh -huh. They just so they decided to buy a map. They buy they, a map. Uh -huh. Yes, 
to look for the way. Uh huh. Um. After they bought that map, they found. Uh, they find where they are not. They were now and where were the hotel. So, uh, they decided to walk back to the hotel. Ah. Ah. Okay. Um. Uh, they walked for an hour, but. They are. They were so curious that where is the hotel? Where where was the hotel? Oh no, they're lost. The the hotel should be there. Uh oh. Uh huh. Um, and then they found they take the map. Uh huh. Up to down. Up to down. How to say? Uh huh. So they just went to the totally different direction. <gasps> Uh oh. Okay. So they're far from the hotel. They went the other way. Yes. Maybe okay. they need to walk two hours. Oh, two hours. So where did they end up? Uh, uh very far away. Uh huh. Uh, in the uh, place na uh, without anybody. Say that again. One more time. Uh, a very quiet area. Without everybody besides. Oh oh. So they're in a very quiet a area. A very quiet area without anybody else. All right, Carlos. Yeah. They're very lost. And they're in a very remote area. What、yeah. happens? Hmm. The. Kind of difficult, <laughs> difficult. Very difficult. Yes, they keep on, they、yeah. keep on getting into trouble. Yes. Okay. They wait until the, until the night, <laughs> until、mm -hmm. it starts going dark. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. And they watch the moon. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. So they remember something about astrology, or I don't know, maybe the location of. The moon and the stars. Oh, ah.、Uh -huh. uh, the location. Ah.、Uh -huh. Of the location of the sun when the morning came. Ah.、Uh -huh. So they start to to calculate something <laughs> to calculate where、mm -hmm. is the hotel in、mm -hmm. just checking the. The position of the moon. Oh, oh! So they don't need a map because they can read the stars. Yeah. Great.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Does the moon show them how to get back to the hotel, or what happens? So they're looking at the stars now. Yes, they. They. Okay, they study the position of the moon, and they. This. They how do you say they solve solve the problem of the ubication the location of the hotel.、Uh -huh. so、they start walking.、Uh -huh. Any hours? <laughs> I don't know to to go in direction of the hotel、uh -huh. or in direction of California. And,、uh -huh. and they hope somebody pass in front of them or in a car or something like that.、Uh -huh. But they have they know now where. California is and where the hotel is,、uh -huh. or the, the direction. Oh, okay, okay. So they don't know where they are, even though they tried to follow the moon and the stars, but they're still lost. Well, they say I'm gonna add that they end up walking. They just walk and walk and walk, and they are exhausted. So they try to go into. Costco, which is a store that California has several locations of. Costco is like a warehouse store. It sells groceries. It sells furniture. It sells everything, and it sells everything in bulk because in America everybody likes to buy things in bulk. Bulk means that you buy、um, like 20 cans of soup at once. And so they're in Costco because they're so hungry from all of this walking that they think that they need to eat a lot of food. So they're in Costco, but it's so late that 
Costco is about to close and so they're shopping and then Costco closes and all the employees leave and they turn the lights out so no one can see and they're locked inside of the Costco store. Wen Ting, what happens? Um, they are very, um, they are afraid at first but they, after that they think, oh it's okay, they can just leave at Costco <laughs> and uh, they can there are so many things, uh, food can, uh, food that, that they can eat. Yes. 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 So because what, there's no way, so they just enjoy it. What do they do first? So they eat, and then they're full. But then, what do they do to entertain themselves? Because they have, uh, they have to wait like a good twelve hours before Costco opens again before they, they can leave. leave. What do they do? It's so easy, they just sleep. Oh, they slept. I see. Well, I think there is that. Um, on the coastal rat, I mean, mm, mm. yeah. So. Oh, they slept on the clothes racks. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Okay, and then what happens in the morning when they wake up? Nope, not not in the morning. At midnight. Uh oh. Uh, the sh um, the the gu the the guard. Uh -huh. uh, was just to search for anybody. In, uh, I mean, not uh, to search uh, if they are safe or safe, safe in the coastal. And uh, he found John and the Bonnie and uh, uh, saw that they were safe. safe. So oh. he want to. Um, he called the policeman. Oh no, the police are now. The police are after Bonnie and Jack because they're asleep in the store. Uh oh. Okay. Carlos, yes. what what's happens? The police are very angry and about to arrest Bonnie and Jack for falling asleep in the Costco store. <laughs> they fall asleep where? In the in the what? They're in the clothes section at the Costco store. In the group section? Uh, the clothing section, right? Yeah. And uh, no, can you write it? Okay. Sure, yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay, in the clothing section of the Costco store. My chat is a little bit slow. Did it come through? Yeah, okay, there we go. The clothing section of the Costco store. Okay. A very quiet area without anyone there. Uh, so the police are there. Yes. So Bonnie and Jack, what do they say to the police? Okay. Ah, okay. Um, well, they could say the they were lost. Uh, maybe they they were called because of the night. <laughs> mm -hmm. so they decided to to look for a for a for a safe place, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they found the chlorine section. Mm -hmm. So as like nobody were avoiding to or prohibiting to enter in that area. Mm -hmm. Decided to to be there to enter. Mm -hmm. So the police uh, were nice. <laughs> they were good guys. They were nice. Okay, great. They, and they understood what happened to them. Good. So they just left them. Let them go. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. I'm so glad that that happened. Good. Okay, so Bonnie and Jack, they're in California still, and they've just woken up from a night sleeping at Costco, and they're full, and they're happy, and the policemen were really nice to them. And so it seems like their vacation turned out to be not as bad as it could have been. So they're really happy about that, but everybody has to go back home eventually, and Jack and Bonnie have jobs, so they have to go back to work eventually, and 
So they take the plane back home, and they don't have a house to stay in when they get back home because the chipmunks that dropped off the life raft for them are living in their house. They're like, my God, there are chipmunks in my house, in our house. What do what do they do, Wenting? Uh, did you mean mouse?、Mm. Yeah, like chipmunks are kind of like mice. Yes. Mice. Okay. <laughs> And Bonnie said that, oh, oh, mouse, I love it. So she want to. Oh. That uh, he he want to feed on them. Oh, pets. <laughs> Bonnie loves mice. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And、um, well, they just um, they would like to catch the mouse, but、oh. you know, the mouse is so small and they、oh. run so fast. It's、uh-huh. really hard to do it. Oh, I like that. That's a great solution to mouse to mice living in their house. That's wonderful. Do they、uh, name the mice? Do the mice get clothes like in the Cinderella story? No, no, I for I forgot what happened in that story. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know the I whole、see. story, but I don't know what the law of the mouse. Oh yes, Cinderella used to like make clothes for the mice. She would have she would dress them up. It was cute. It was, it was it was very cute and funny. Okay, so、uh, oh, go on. Uh, but just the peril happens again.、Mm-hmm. Uh, when the mouse run under the table,、mm-hmm. Jack want to cut. Uh, because Jack want to cut a、uh, catch it, so、mm-hmm. uh, he also followed that mouse. So his head, uh, just stuck. I mean,、mm-hmm. what? Um, just、uh, to touch that t- desk, that that table. Mm. Um. So, just、um, Jack, Jack, who,、uh, Jack, blood on his head. Oh, so Jack's bleeding. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Carlos, Jack、yeah. is at home and he is bleeding, and Bonnie has pet mice. What happens? Um. Can you repeat the situation? Sure. Bonnie has pet mice. She's very happy because she has pet mice. But Jack got a cut on his head and he's bleeding. He he hit his head. And so I didn't understand. Oh, okay. I'll write it in the chat box here. So Jack hit his head. Jack hit his head, and Bonnie's very happy though. She has a mouse, and she's okay. She didn't hit her head. Can you end the story? What happens in the end? Did、oh. he die? Well,、uh, okay. Bonnie is Bonnie is happy because what? Ah,、uh, she has a new pet. She has pet、a、mice. Is that a new, a new what cat? A pet. Um, that is like a domestic animal. Like、um, dog and cat are pets. Okay. Okay. Yes.、Yeah, she's okay. She's only because of the cat, and just hit his head. Uh huh. Um, is he in the hospital or or just like a little? In your or what? Oh, yeah. So Jack is in the hospital. Okay. Jack is in the hospital because he hit his head. Okay, okay. And then Wen Ting, can you end the story? Can you just let us know what happens in the end? Uh, sorry, I for I I didn't understand what Kara said. Oh well, I think、uh, I think Carlos said that Jack is, went to the hospital. He went to the hospital. Um. Okay. The doctor said 
okay, uh, we are very sorry that, but we can we may cannot rescue Jack. Uh oh. Um, okay. At that time, Jack is, uh, hear that word. Oh. He is so desperate, and he, and then he woke up. Uh huh. Yeah, that was, that that whole that whole story is just a dream. Oh my God! The whole story was just a dream. Uh, Jack wow. is very happy. That's it, just a dream. So he oh. just walked out of the house, and suddenly he fell into a hole. Oh! So it was all a dream, and it was a pretty crazy dream, and he's glad it's over. Yes, that was a wonderful story, everybody. That was very creative. It was very fun to have class with you today. I hope that um, I see you again. You can feel free to follow me on Facebook or um, follow me on Verbling and um, I will be teaching. I'm actually teaching um, in this hour. I'm teaching the next class. You can come to class right now and uh, check out my schedule and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.